This is our second example for editing a chart in the output file. This time we're going to look at a scatter plot. It's slightly different than a clustered bar chart, which we did before. Again, we're going to double click to get into our chart editor. And you know you're in the chart editor when you see the hashed out chart in the background. Um, again, first thing off, I'm going to change the size. Click apply. Um, this way, when I put it into a document, it's resized and my font is the correct size as well. Um, I can also change my legend titles. Remember, single click your way through charts. As I said in the last video, always single click, never double click. So if I want to edit what my legend title is, I single click, and then when I single click again, I can go in and edit it. So I'm just going to change this to say gender. So it's a bit shorter. Say I want to move my legend into my chart area. If I single click, I'm going to single click again, single click on the outside, there we go, that's what I want. So sometimes you have to single click around until you find what you want. Um, I'm going to single click again on the outside, there we go. Now that I've got, uh, see when I hover over the outside I get this four way arrows here. That shows me that I can now move my legend. So you just need to single click around until you get um, this outside border and then I'm going to move it in over here. So now it takes a, a little less space here on the outside. Um, I also want to change my axes label so again single click. I'm going to change this to say age capitals not lowercase. Now let's look at how we can um, format these bubbles. So I've done a grouped scatter plot so I'm showing males and females separately for cholesterol level um, versus age. So Say I want to make the shape different or the color a bit more pronounced so I can see the difference between males and females. I single click on any data point. This highlights all of them. Now say I want to change males, they're blue, so I need to single click on a blue dot. Now all the blue ones are highlighted, just males, and if I look over here at my properties window I can now format um, just the males. I'm going to change my fill so it's a lighter shade of blue and click apply. Um, I'm also going to change the design. So over here at the type, um, I'm going to choose a triangle and click apply. Okay, now they've gotten quite small, so let's change the size. I'm going to increase it to about 8. That's a little bit better. Okay, if I wanted to then format the dots for female, I would single click, single click again, and then let's say I'll give that a fill. Uh, Okay, so now I've got females and males and I've changed them slightly. Um, just as before, you, if you single click on the axes, you can change the minimum and preferred size for your font. Remember the minimum size is the smallest the font will get as you shrink the size of your chart and the preferred size is the size SPSS will try and make it until your chart gets too small and it has to move to the minimum size and you can also change your font type. So. You know, change it to Calibri and click Apply. Okay, you can also change the scales to the min max points for both axes. Remember, just single click on the axes and then that will change. If your properties window gets closed, remember you can open it again using the properties icon up here at the top. Um, also, say you're doing a regression analysis, and this is a scatter plot for that regression, so maybe you're regressing males and females separately. Um, you can actually add your fit lines. Now you can't see that very well. Let's see if I can try again. Um, up here at the top, you can add a fit line for the subgroups. So that means a fit line separately for males and females. You only do a fit line for subgroups if you're doing two separate regressions, one for male, one for female. If you're doing one regression model with gender as a variable, then you would just want one fit line for the total and that gives me a fit line across there. Um, remember, don't just do a fit line just for the sake of doing one. Only do it if you're actually doing a regression and your data fit the assumption of a regression model. Um, have a go. Play around with the chart editor. That's really the best way to figure out how to do things. And good luck.